All right, guys, we're going to be looking at a bunch of early gameplay here of Vanguard Season 1 DLC, the new DLC maps for Multiplayer, Paradise, the Dome Remake, Radar, a bunch of the exclusive blueprints. We're going to get very soon a COD Ghost teaser here, some Christmas blueprints, a bunch of cool stuff like that, the new Incendiary Grenade, the John Fong update as well for zombies, a bunch of stuff to go through here in today's video. If you guys are new and would like to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that, and be sure to drop a like on the video as well. First up, let's take a look at Radar, the remake of the MW3 map, a dome. Such a sick remake. I was so surprised to see this here. I was definitely expecting Terminal. We had rumors about that map being remade in Vanguard, but dome i will easily take and this map here is so so cool before we get into that very quickly i just want to say all of these maps are available in custom games if you happen to custom games you could play the 2mp maps you could play the new zombies objective you could use the new grenade we'll be talking about and all that good stuff it's literally available all in custom games so again be sure to check that out here but for dome here is my analysis overall the look aesthetic so so nice sometimes when they remake maps but change the scenery it doesn't look as good but this version of dome is perfect i love this version of dome it's set in the pacific and the vibes are really really sick i love it so much the only thing here and i know some people might be a bit annoyed about this here is that there are some kind of vanguard-esque changes that you could see on the map the first major one is on the actual dome itself on the catwalk there are all boards that are lined up along the catwalk there blocking everyone's view of anyone on that catwalk of course if you shoot it down you break the boards you know you'll be able to see people up on the catwalk there but the whole point of being on the catwalk is to be exposed but also have a vantage point it's kind of a win lose situation there you have a good vantage point of everyone on the map but also you're exposed to different players but with the boards here for the first couple minutes of the game it might be a bit annoying to have people up there and it's going to be a bit cheesy for them to shoot through the boards and not really be seen and also get some kills there so of course you know people might not like that change to me it's not that big of a deal i think for the most part at least when i'm playing vanguard's mp when there are destructible environments in the beginning of the map in certain areas they're blocking vantage points they're in the middle of the map they're in a pretty important and heavily populated pathway they get broken the first minute and then after that i kind of forget they were ever there so for dome here or radar i should say it seems like it'll be the same thing here nothing too crazy it'll be there you'll forget about a couple of minutes into the match and that's that so at least there are no destructible environments in the main pathways of this map it's really just up there and that's it so overall not a big deal whatsoever you could also hop on that container near the a flag at least in domination again not a major change could be a bit annoying obviously it wasn't like that in mw3 but again not a big deal whatsoever but the actual core layout of the map plays perfectly plays almost exactly like it did in Modern Warfare 3. They didn't change that whatsoever. They didn't make it bigger or smaller. It's the exact same layout. I love it so much. Dome had such a classic, good layout, and I'm so glad they brought it back pretty much the exact same way it was. Again, very minor changes here on the sides of the maps and little things you can hop up on, but overall, such a good version of the map. So hyped to see this here in the game. We'll definitely see some type of Radar 24-7 playlist as well. And overall, I would definitely love to see some more MW3 remakes. Sea Town, Mission, all of those maps would be so, so sick to see. So again, leave your comments down below if you want to see more MW3 maps, if you want to see them from MW2, even other Treyarch games, let me know down below. Now, next new MP map here, we have to take a look at Paradise. This was advertised as a medium-sized map, three lanes, just a classic Call of Duty map. And in the game, it pretty much plays that way. Now, I do have to admit, it's not exactly three lanes. It definitely has more of a Vanguard style of MP where there are more areas to look around and the middle of the map is kind of open, but it pretty much is three lanes and it's super, super solid. A really solid map. First of all, the look aesthetic, really sick as well. This is also set in the Pacific. The outside of the map is really cool inside as well really cool vibes scenery but for the map layout itself it works really nice it feels good it almost reminds me of a different version of numa numa in that it just has this really tight close quarters feel but also it's kind of open at the same time i don't know let me know down below if you agree with me with that there but i love the style of map really fun this will be another solid map to play in vanguard mp just in general and again as i said if vanguard has a bunch of just solid dlc mp maps 
this could be easily one of the best MPs of all time. Of course, it's way too early to say that there, but you know, if we have maps like these here, of course, Dome, we know Dome's gonna be good, so maybe we can't give them too much credit for that, but you know, Vanguard's first uniquely made original MP map for their DLC season, Paradise, it's a solid start to the year, man. Solid start, and this map's better than a lot of the actual launch maps for Vanguard as well, at least in my opinion, so if they keep it up and bring us maps like this, we might be in for a really good year, at least for the DLC season for multiplayer. So again, let me know your opinions on that down below. Overall, Paradise, another solid addition to Vanguard's MP. Now we also have the Incendiary Grenade. This one is so, so good as well. I've been seeing everyone say on Twitter, it's way too OP. It's gonna be GA'd in the CDL playlist. And overall, it seems like it's gonna be a fairly powerful grenade to use in this game. And I could easily see them doing a nerf in the first couple of weeks of season one. Maybe not too big of a nerf, nothing too major, but a slight nerf might be needed here with recruit bots it seemed kind of op some instances it didn't work as well as i thought it would so it's not a guarantee chuck it and you just kill all enemies in its vicinity but it's really powerful it has a good initial blast it has the fire afterwards that just burns everyone walking through it so it has a good double effect for a grenade there but it's not you know foolproof you're not going to get instant kills with it but you know chances are if you throw that on a flag you throw that around a corner where a bunch of people are you're going to get a bunch of kills so really sick grenade there definitely love to see that now let's go through a bunch of the blueprints we're going to see with vanguard's season one update first up here we have a sten blueprint pretty cool but what's really interesting about this blueprint is that there's a cod ghost logo here that's kind of crazy in my opinion of course is it teasing anything Probably not, but, you know, I love the callback to COD Ghost there. One of my favorite Call of Duties of all time, and I'll be honest, it's probably like 90% because of nostalgia. I was in the 8th grade, I played that game so much, so if I was a bit older, maybe a bit younger, I may have not enjoyed it as much, but that time, that was just my Call of Duty Prime. I was playing Call of Duty 24-7, so when Ghost was out, I was playing it, I had a ton of fun, so I love that Call of Duty. It's nostalgia, so, so don't roast me there, but... I would love to see some more callbacks here to COD Ghost, and actually, I would love to see a remake or two from COD Ghost in Vanguard. COD Ghost had a bunch of really solid maps. I'll save that for a different video, but, you know, let me know down below if you want to see some COD Ghost MP remakes in Vanguard. We also have our first look here at the first ultra rarity weapon in Vanguard. This one is insane looking. Of course, the first thing you're probably thinking is that this is not a World War II vibe whatsoever. I don't really care, honestly. I never wanted them to be too realistic. I don't mind seeing these really sick weapons. I mean, this is definitely not World War II, but it's cool nonetheless, so I'm down with it, honestly. I don't care at all. Super, super sick there. Next one here, we have a Captain America style blueprint. Pretty cool as well. I wonder if that's teasing any future Captain America or Marvel collabs with Vanguard or Call of Duty. We don't know for sure. Not confirmed, but still a cool blueprint nonetheless. We also have a little sneak peek here at the Christmas themed blueprints we're going to be getting very soon with this holiday event. This one here, super cool. We have another one as well. And we're probably going to get some other New Year's blueprints as well. Other stuff like that. We don't have everything revealed here, but still cool nonetheless. All right, guys, so we're hopping on here into Duran Fong Vanguard Zombies to check out the new objective with the season one up update purge it was released early into the map so we're gonna go in here now, i did check this objective out a couple of hours ago i didn't record it but it was just my first time going through testing it out and it was kind of cool so i'm gonna show you guys here what it's all about and how this could be probably the most difficult objective we have in this map pretty much here you have about two minutes to go and like actually capture all of these runes here it's kind of difficult because sometimes you know if you're like me you know you get a little confused as to where they are and the time really runs kind of quickly. Now, we're on round one, so it's not that big of a deal. But if you're trying to find these runes here, and you're on, like, round five, six, even seven, you guys know, like, Vanguard Zombies gets progressively more difficult. It could get kind of crazy. And, you know, there's a good chance that you might not actually complete this objective. So, I don't know. I mean, you'll see here. I feel like I'm already barely going to make it. Maybe that's because I really haven't played through all of these different maps. Once you learn the maps and you know where these objectives are going to end up, I guess it'll be a bit easier. Unless these are randomized. Now, if these are randomized, that might be, you know, a little more difficult here. But it's still a little bit of an interesting situation where, you know, it's easy right now. But I, I get kind of scared. So, actually, right now, we're going to complete this here. This is six, seven, eight. Well, actually, where's the ninth one? Oh, see? There you go already. Seven. But see, like, if you... And, and then the zombies are... See, like, I don't know, actually. Maybe I'm not playing the most efficiently. We can probably just let... We're literally on round one. I could easily just knife. I don't know why I'm shooting. But think about it again. Like, think about this here on a higher round. Is this the ninth one? Oh, this is the ninth one. Okay, cool. 
Okay, I thought there was one extra. I can't count. But, you know, that was pretty cool. It wasn't that bad. It's a really quick objective, nothing too crazy. But I could easily see this being super difficult on a higher round, for sure. And not much higher. Like, round one was okay, of course. It's round one. You could knife, you could, you know, kill them pretty quickly. But even round five, six, seven, like, I could see it being kind of an issue here. So, I don't know. I think that's a good change. I feel like the objectives are a bit easy right now, for the most part. So, having this here, we really have to focus, get these runes, kill the zombies... And, uh, you know, you have to do it all within those, um, within the two-minute timer. It's not a bad objective there. Now, is that really gonna bring us back into Duran Fong and get us playing over and over and over again? Probably not, but, you know, it still is a little bit something to change things up, and I appreciate them for at least doing that for the most. So, you know, let me know your opinions on that down below. But that's pretty much it here for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your opinions on all of the Season 1 content we have in Vanguard's MP and Zombies. There are two videos up on screen that may interest you, so be sure to check one of them out. Real do appreciate, guys. Shout out to the YouTube channel members, as always. I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.